Grand Canyon University, better known as GCU, was first founded in 1949. It is a Christian campus located in Phoenix, Arizona, where it houses about 25,000 students. It welcomes students from all walks of life, which presents them with various challenges when it comes to living together. Resident Advisors, or RAs, are student leaders chosen amongst their peers to guide them and offer support when the need arises. However, how did they get to reach this position? What compels them to perform this job? Let's stop by the Diamondback Apartments and see how one RA handles the freshman girls living there. My name is Shannon Colgan and I'm from Gilbert, Arizona, and I'm an RA at Diamondback Apartments. I wanted to become an RA because my two older sisters who went to GCU were both RAs for three years and they told me about how much they loved it and got to work with such a great team and so I decided to apply. The requirements to fulfill the RA role include filling out their application as well as answering their essay questions. You also have to make a video and they give you a list of prompts that include basically just telling them a bit about yourself, um, what your hobbies are, and what you could potentially bring to the RA role. Some of the most common problems that turn up as an RA is especially living in a freshman apartment is we get a lot of roommate conflict. As RAs, we hold RA mediations and it, we basically just sit down with the room that is having conflict and discuss what the problem is and how we can solve it. Especially for freshmen, a lot of girls are coming to us not knowing how to handle conflict because this might be their first time living on their own. And so it's a great um, position to be uh, respectful to these residents and just teach them how to live on their own. The best way to incorporate your faith into your role as an RA, I would say, is just to be Christ-like and just be someone that your residents can go to about their worries and just their questions and I feel like that can go a long way. I came to GCU during the COVID era and I was really shy at first and didn't really know that many people. And then I decided to apply for the RA position and now I've enjoyed GCU so much more. I've been a part of such a great team and we all get along so well. And I've also gained such a strong community here on campus. And now my favorite part is just being there for my residents and helping them find the same thing, just finding that community on campus. The biggest thing I've learned from the RA role has been communicating and being a part of a team with several other RAs, it can be difficult at some times um, coordinating different events that are happening throughout the building, but as we learned through our training as an RA, um, being able to handle conflict and communicate effectively can go a long way. To anyone considering being a student leader on campus, I would say to just go for it it is such a great opportunity to get connected on campus, build a better community, as well as helping your residents gain community as well. Now that we've seen how the freshmen are received, let's take a look at how the upperclassmen are dealt with in the Antelope Apartments. Hi, my name is Jenna and I am from Peoria, Arizona. I am senior and I'm serving as an RA in Antelope Apartments. Um, I'm majoring in nursing. I'm in level three right now so I will graduate in April with my BSN which is super exciting. Um, I wanted to become an RA my freshman year because I knew that I wanted to get more involved in community and I wanted to find a way to meet more people and just get engaged and have my college experience be more than just going to classes. Um, and doing homework and studying. So in my position, a huge part of um, being an RA is just interacting with residents, whether that's at community gatherings or um, on my hall or when I have to do any sort of violation. So during those kind of situations, um, I do run into people who don't really like being around me because of the fact that I have to write them up, but I have to remind myself that this is a part of my job and, uh, 
in those situations, I have the opportunity to meet people where they're at and treat them with respect and show them my heart behind the job, which is um, just to love residents and also enforce the rules at the same time. And then in order to get this position as an RA, I had to first submit an application in the middle of my freshman year, um, which is just different questions asking me about why I wanted to become an RA and also um, just my heart behind service. And then there was a second part of doing a one-on-one -on -one interview um, with two RDs. And then after that, I was just told um, that I got the position and then had to accept within a certain amount of time. So a huge part of um, my life is my faith. And through this position, I'm able to share my faith mainly through interactions. Um, a big part of my job is just being able to be around for people whenever they need to talk about life situations or if they just need advice about things. I'm kind of just a, a neutral person who um, they can vent to or I can give advice to them if they need it. Um, so in those situations when people are feeling down or they feel like they're just in a bad place, I'm able to tell them a little bit about my story and about um, how I've got to where I've got because of my relationship with Christ and also through life groups is a huge way that I'm able to um, talk about my faith and also meet residents at the same time. This is my second year as an RA. Last year I was an RA in Willow, um, so I've definitely got the two opposite ends of the spectrum, but um, I definitely do experience burnout with this job um, at random times. It's not consistent, but there have been quite a few times, especially this year, where I felt like, oh my goodness, I'm walking through the hall and you hear like a boy's voice behind the door and you're like, oh, I could just walk by, but I have to remind myself that this is a job and I did sign up um, to be in this position. So I have to find a balance of I'm not going to seek out those kind of situations, but I also am required to report those things. So I just have to suck it up and do my job. And although those parts do really suck, um, I think there are a lot of really great um, attributes to the role, especially when it comes to meeting people and um, building community within my own team as well. So it, it ends up being fine in the end. It's just kind of got to deal with the situations when you don't want to, but that's kind of how it is with every job you're going to have, so why not practice now? I am a very introverted person, so I find it kind of hard um, to meet people when it's not convenient. So my freshman year when I applied, I knew that this was going to be kind of an uncomfortable role to start, and I was not wrong. My first year, it was definitely difficult because I showed up in a room with 23 other strangers and was expected to get to know them and team build with them and plan stuff with them. And it was definitely uncomfortable to start, but I quickly got like my footing and was able to meet people and figure out that okay wait maybe I'm not that bad at meeting people maybe like maybe this is a good spot for me and then through doing this position I've learned a lot about um, just communication in general with residents and with staff members and that's kind of carried over into my personal life um, I'm able to um, deal with conflict a lot better because I'm not really one to deal with conflict in my own life super well so having to help others through theirs has kind of given me a better perspective on the importance of dealing with conflict and lastly um, I feel like my creative side has definitely come out in this role through planning community gatherings and um, putting up bullets and boards um, I feel like I'm able to um, find a creativity within me that I've never really used before now that we've seen the stories of two veteran RAs, let's hear the account of someone who was completely new to the job. My name is Victoria Velasco. I was born in Riverside, California, but raised in Casa Grande, Arizona. And I'm serving as an RA in Antelope Apartments 6-4. Um, uh, I am a sophomore this year and my major is in digital design with an emphasis in animation. I wanted to become an RA because I was pretty personal and friendly with my RAs my freshman year and I just loved the CGs they were put on which is like the community gatherings, the little parties for the floors and I just thought it was a really good like environment and that they were really nice so I wanted to become that for like other people so I decided to become an RA, also for the scholarship, for being honest, but 
it's just overall been a really great experience so far. I chose being an RA over a life leader. Nothing against life leaders or anything. I actually think their job is super, super important. And just when I was like a freshman resident last year, the position itself seemed really scary. I myself um, am in, like I have a relationship with God, I'm Christian, but I don't think of myself as ready to um, help others grow in their faith. So in the RA role, I incorporate like my faith, I think, just in kind of like my team, I would say. Like I see myself, like, like God put me in this position, God put all these same people in this building, and I just like let God just tell me that like I'm here for a reason, like he gave me this responsibility for a reason, and I kind of just use that as like my fuel. Like when things get hard or anything, I was like, no, like God put me here. And actually today, like reached back out to him, which is cool. I read my Bible and I just kind of like restated the fact that like I'm here, he put me here and it's just a wonderful responsibility to have. So when I don't feel like, feel bothered to do anything, I think, I don't know, cause like, Though there's been times where people just like knock on my door, which is like I have a flyer on my door, that's why it's there, so people can come up to me and talk to me. But sometimes like like you're brushing your hair or you're doing homework and it just kind of feels like out of place or like you're like, oh, why, why are they knocking on my door or like you're on call and it's just like, oh, I hate this. But I don't know, like when I actually see the resident face to face, like, like all of that kind of just like goes away. Like I know it kind of sounds cheesy, but it's just like, as another person, like another person that I get to like help and care for. So I think that was automatically puts me in a mindset that I just like, I'm here to help you. And I think that's amazing. I don't, that's all I can say about that. Cause like immediately the bothersome feeling just like go away. The R RA role like helped me grow as a person because I just like, beginning of the year I was like very quiet I was just like not really knowing what this like role entailed I was like what am I getting myself into but like already like day one of training like I met my wonderful team and I just like felt like like kind of like shed I just like shed new skin automatically and I just like became like a person willing because they told us like this is like you're serving you're serving other people I'm like you know what I am that's amazing and I don't know, it just made me feel more confident in what I'm doing, especially after training. I felt like I knew what I was doing, especially with my co, I felt like I always knew I was what I was doing, so I just became like a more confident person, a person who just like knew the answers, not all the answers, but knew like how to find the right solutions for people, and that just made me think more positive and more outgoing, and just overall like have like a better mindset. With the help of these RAs, we have seen how the students living on campus are taken care of. When an issue arises, they can always go to their RAs for a solution and for guidance on what to do next. As GCU is determined to spread their Christian outlook, the RAs within it do their part by helping their fellow students by changing lives for the better through one talk at a time.